Now in this last part, we're told that the coefficient of friction between the wall and the rod is mu. And given that the rod is about to slip, we've got to find the value of mu. Now I previously marked on the components of this reaction on the rod AB as R newtons. But then we split them into two components. One here, X newtons outwards, horizontally, and Y newtons upwards. And we found out in the previous part that X equals 5 mg. Now if it's on the point of slipping, then Y must be equal to mu times that reaction from here, that which would be x newtons in this particular example. Normally we have that friction equals mu r, but uh, r is this x newtons, the normal contact force. So therefore, what we know is that y must be equal to mu times x or 5 mg. Now to work out what mu is, we need to resolve vertically. And knowing that the rod is in equilibrium, then that resultant force must equal zero. So if we resolve vertically, what are we going to have? Well, we've got the force y, which is mu times 5mg. So I'm just going to change that to 5mg mu. It just sounds better, I think. 5mg mu. So that's the force y. It's in the positive sense. That's why we call it as positive. And then we've got minus 3mg minus another 3mg. So you might as well say minus 6mg there. And then you've got the component of the tension acting upwards, which is going to be t cos theta. So we've got plus t cos theta. And that equals zero because the rod is in equilibrium. So let's just put in the values for t and cos theta. So therefore, what we have now is 5 mg mu minus 6 mg plus the tension t, which is 25 over 4 mg times cos theta, and cos theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 over 5, 3 fifths, so pop that in there as 3 fifths, and that equals 0. So we can rearrange this now for mu. We can also see that every term contains an mg, so we could cancel that out there, take that mg out there. We can also divide this 5 into the 25. It goes 5 times. So what we could do now is say, well, we've got 5 mu. We could group up this, these two terms here. So we therefore have 5 mu. And then we've got minus 6 and then plus 15 over 4. And that equals 0. So therefore, 5 mu must equal 6 minus 15 over 4. 6 minus 15 over 4. And 6 in quarters is 24 quarters. 24 quarters minus 15 quarters is going to be 9 quarters. So we've got 9 quarters there. And so if I now divide by 5 to both sides, we end up with mu equals 9 over 5 fours. 20. Mu equals 9 20ths then. Okay?